Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. I'm Nick from Income Digs. We're going to be digging into some really cool Podio stuff today. So um, kind of advanced techniques, but I think something that's really going to help you um, if you're running a business where you have repeatable tasks and checklists and different things that uh, you set up processes and every time you do something, you, you repeat it, you repeat it. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set that up in Podio. And I must say that uh, what I'm going to show you today, um, I came up with it from a really cool challenge from a client where they asked for something like this and I had not seen it done before. So we kind of together came up with this solution, which is so cool that I'm building it into my templates now and I'm going to bring it forward to future clients. So um, tune in and uh, this is first of many, I'm sure, because there's so much to this. But basically what we're going to be talking about is app based tasks within Podio and how you can set up some really simple Globy flows to automatically generate those tasks. All right. And so let's jump right into it. So when I talk about app based tasks, it's kind of an ongoing debate within the Podio community. Should we be using tasks that are native to Podio? So the native tasks over here where um, you have your, your kind of your universal task list, or should we create a separate app for tasks where we can customize how it looks. And I would say that I have certain clients that I'm always doing native tasks and there's certain clients that I think would be better suited for app-based tasks. I will say that more and more I'm thinking I'm liking app-based tasks a little bit. There's pros and cons to each. Um, the main difference is that the app-based tasks are fully customizable and you can set up really cool reports for them. And you can do what I'm gonna show you today with checklists. The native tasks are really good too. Um, I wouldn't use both though. So, um, you know, if you have a question of whether you should do one or the other, let me know and we can talk about it. I'm gonna talk about app-based tasks. So this is just an app that's set up like your native tasks where you have a title for the task, a description, and then different things about it. What we can also do is we can set up recurring tasks to repeat on days of the week or days of the month. Really simple Globy flow for that. Um, you're referencing the different apps within your workspace and then checklist, which I'm going to talk about in a second. You're setting a due date of when this template, oh, this is tasks templates. I'm sorry. I, I didn't even um, get to that yet. Um, th this is a template for a task that your due date is going to be X days from the current date. So that's task templates. Let's go to um, tasks themselves. So these would be actual tasks that you have to complete where of course you're getting who it's assigned to, a link to something, your referenced app, the checklist, uh, created on, do, incomplete, et cetera. And this is a cool way to, um, you know, you can, you can do this by card view. So I'm showing uh, incomplete and complete and none show up on complete yet because none are complete. But uh, when I make one complete, and so you can look at it this way. Um, or that's because I have that filter on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we can click and drag them over. So it's a really cool way to do it. Now let's talk about checklists. So checklists are a way of establishing a set of tasks in our task templates that are grouped together in some kind of checklist, okay? So checklist is really simple. It's just like the title of that grouping. For example, I have one called lease renewal, okay? I just create that checklist with some general guidelines, and then I reference it from various task templates, okay? So let's look at those task templates. All right, so when I set up a task template, it could be a repeating daily one, in which case it wouldn't belong to a checklist, but in this case here, I have these three for lease renewals, okay? And these belong to that checklist that I just created, okay, lease renewal. And so what I wanna do is because they're in that group, I can create a trigger to call upon the tasks then checklist in Globy flow. And I'm gonna show you that. So I've created the, this flow here. What's cool is you create it once or I can give it to you and you can copy it, all right? So if I look at this uh, flow, not to get too, too technical, but just to show you what we're doing here is we're pretty much, this is a manual flow, which means I can call upon it. I can copy it really easily we're pretty much looking for a checklist in our system. And then within that checklist, we're looking for the various templates. And for each item uh, that we find, we're creating a new task, okay? And this is a manual flow that I'm currently not triggering from anywhere, but if I wanna trigger it, I can just do a really quick new flow item updated. 
Okay, so we'll go, let's say that, uh, let's say that I wanna trigger this when a renter uh, renewal status equals uh, stay, okay? Now my naming convention is just to help me sort things, but so I wanna do this when a renter, uh, when their renewal status has changed and their renewal status equals to stay. All right, and all I wanna do, my one action is to trigger a flow and that flow is that checklist lease renewal, okay? So these triggers are gonna be really simple. This is pretty complex and that's why we created a manual flow so I can use it and copy it over, all right? So let's do that and let's see how that might work. If I were to take a renter and I had the one I was looking at, so let's take this one. Okay, and let's say that um, their renewal status is pending and let's say I make them stay. Okay, so now the system's gonna go out to that checklist and find the, the various task templates within it and start assigning those, okay? So you can see here, adding tasks from checklist, lease renewal, and then new, le new lease, oh, that's a separate flow. New task created, send tenant the lease renewal welcome letter, prepare the lease in Podio, and send lease via Pandadoc. So those three tasks all came from templates, which were all associated with that checklist. All right, so I can set that all up, all within Podio, and then all I gotta do is like my trigger in Globy Flow, right? Because I can look at that task template and update all the, all the info. But if I click on this and go to my task, it looked at what role to assign it to, it titled the task, it referenced the correct app, the checklist is there if I want the reference, creation date, due date, um, all that stuff is there for us, okay? Now, if I wanna edit this and say, you know, in the future, I wanna assign this to somebody else, or I want my due date to be like two days later, or on the day that it happens, whatever, right? So we go to our task template, and we can update that right here without going into Globiflow. I can go into this, and I can say, I want this to be due three days later than my current date. Okay, and you just update it there. And that's why task templates are so cool, and that's why checklists are so, so cool. All right, so now, um, what I was doing there I created that kind of complex flow and it's kind of hard and like, okay, that's that's one checklist, but what about the others? Let me show you how easy this is. So I have another checklist for, I think I created one, it's an empty shell, it's called new vacancy. All right, no related, related items yet. Let's go create some templates for it. So I go to the task templates app and I go to add template. Okay, and let's do, so this is for a new uh, vacancy. So um, let's say draft, vacancy, add copy, okay? And then maybe I assign this to my bookkeeper, my admin person, like my VA, and maybe I have some kind of document, some kind of template on Drive that they can reference, okay? And now this, the really important part about this is of course the reference app here is gonna be vacancies, and then the checklist is the new vacancy, okay? Due date from current date, I want this to be due within two days after it's created. All right, so there's one template, task template, right? Let's do one more, and I'm just gonna put a one here because we're, when, when they're created, it's gonna do it in order. Okay, so then I can do one more, I can clone this, and I can do number two. I can do um, confirm vacancy financial. So when, when it's being set up, the vacancy, we can say how much rent is gonna be, how much security deposit's gonna be. I'm gonna assign this to the rental manager, okay, something different. All right, and you can have a link there, etc. all the same stuff. Let's make this do um, one day after. Okay, save the template. So I have two tasks assigned to this checklist, new vacancy, all right, but it's not being triggered from anywhere. So how could we potentially do that? Let's take this checklist, okay, and let's clone it over to my vacancies. Okay, so let's do that. Copy it over. So, and we're just gonna call this checklist new vacancy. All right, and then all we have to do is change this name here, new vacancy, make sure it matches what's in Podio. Okay, so let's go to our checklist and make sure that we have a match. 
New vacancy, okay, good. Okay, and then just do a check. Look for errors here. Everything should flow nicely. And you can just save that. So now that manual flow is ready to go in the vacancies app, I need to trigger it, right? So why don't I just trigger it when the new vacancy is created? And so I already have a, uh, a flow for new vacancy and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deactivate this one just temporarily. So just go to deactivate. And I'm gonna do one more item created new, oops vacancy 2.0 and so when an item is created I'm going to trigger that flow new vacancy okay so let's see if that works all right let's go to the vacancies app now remember if we're triggering the creation from some other flow make sure that though that trigger is a hook action okay so I'm just gonna just create a quick one and see uh, if things are working. So it should go out to our checklist again. It is, and it should go look for those tasks and create them. And it did. So you see how easy that was? I just did that like in within the four minutes we were talking. Because this flow is already set up, you can just keep copying it. You know, you can do a vacancy closed one. And all you gotta do, all you have to do is go into it and adjust the checklist name and everything else will work. And then you just build your triggers and it works great. Okay, so that is just the, just scratching the surface of what we can do with this, this functionality, okay? And you can see why having this, these task-driven, I'm sorry, app-based tasks can be so powerful for you. We just created all those tasks like with, with flows really quick and we have so much power as far as the custom fields and the reporting. These native tasks are really good, but you cannot possibly do what we just did with these checklists, all right? So um, I know, pretty complicated, complicated, but um, give me your thoughts and what you wanna see more of, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep on this topic and I'm gonna show you different applications for it. I'm gonna build it out a little bit further so you can see how the different checklists could work. We even did with this client, what we did was we had different checklists and you can see if I, I'll just show you the field for it. I can create several different checklists and I can say when this one's done, trigger this one on completion. So I can like build in the trigger right into the, the template. It's pretty complicated in the back end, but um, I'm gonna show you how to do it. And um, we're gonna make this all part of the property management template as well. So um, stay tuned, let me know exactly what you wanna see, what you're confused about. Pretty technical stuff, but I think it can really help your business if you're really process driven. So I look forward to seeing you here on the next video and let me know your thoughts. Go to IncomeDigs.com for all the free resources and information. Thanks.